Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome to today's live reading of Rocket Ship Made of Stars by Lois Wickstrom, presented by Itsy Bitsy Book Bits. Join me. Show up at the edge of Ea's flying saucer. I'm so glad you answered my radio call. Me too. I'd never have found Earth without you, said Ea. She opened the flying saucer door. May I spend the night in your saucer? asked Cheryl. Sure, if you don't mind a different kind of bed, said Ea. As they settled down in their sleep pods, Ea asked, Why do you go to school? It's where everybody goes to hear and tell stories, said Cheryl. Ms. Burrell, my teacher, knows the best stories of all. Can I go with you? asked Ea. Sure, sure, said Cheryl. Ea did a somersault down the ramp. Let's go. They played hop, skip, jump all the way to school. Ea jumped over trees. When Ea and Cheryl jumped onto the playground, a group of kids ran up to them. Where did you come from? asked Gwen. Why are you green? asked Dave. What's that on your head? asked Jade. Cheryl saw that her friend was confused. This is Ea, she, Cheryl said. She is my friend. You shouldn't wear your Halloween costume in August, said Dave. Why don't you have fingers? asked Jade. Don't they know I was born like this? Ea asked Cheryl. When do we get to hear stories? You must be from outer space, said Gwen. That's right. I came here in my flying saucer, said Ea. Would you like to see it? Before anyone could answer, the bell rang. When they entered the classroom, the teacher said to Ea, It's nice to meet you. Can you show us where you came from? Ea picked up the green marker and drew lots of dots. That's the night sky, explained Cheryl. It al it's always night in outer space. The dots are stars. Ea drew lines connecting the dots. It's easier to remember all the stars if I connect the dots to make pictures. The center picture looks like a rocket ship. Ea circled one dot at the tip of the rocket. My planet goes around this star. The teacher came up to the whiteboard. Did they teach you about constellations at your old school? What are constellations? asked Ea. The pictures you drew are called constellations, said the teacher. Constellation means a group of stars. My old home, old home had different stars, said Ea, and I drew different pictures. Do the pictures at your old homes have names? asked the teacher. Yes, said Ea. We had flower with seven blooms and ship with a small sail. Each picture had a story. Our constellations have names and stories, too, said the teacher, but I'd love to know what names you've given them. I named the one I come from, came from Rocket Ship, said Ea, and this one is Cartwheeling Box. <clears throat> that one looks like a kite, said Gwen, and that one looks like a soup ladle, said Dave. That one looks like a kite, too, said Jade. If you... What do you call these star pictures? Ea asked the teacher. A long time ago, people who lived in Greece named these constellations after their gods and famous people, said the teacher. We still use their names today, but I think I might like some of your names even better. Ea smiled and tapped the whiteboard again. I made this map to remember the place I came from. We have different pictures in the night sky at different times of the year. Will you ever go back? asked Cheryl, hoping her friend was going to stay on Earth. I might want to visit my old home someday, said Ea. I'll need a map to get there. Ea, would you like to learn the Greek names for the constellation pictures on your map? asked the teacher. The one you call rocket ship is named Osiphius. A long time ago, Asiphius was a warrior in a city called Troy. He warned the soldiers about an army hidden inside a big wooden horse that they thought was a gift. That's a cool story, said Gwen, but I think the stars look like a rocket ship, like Ea said. But if it was just a long time ago, but if it was a long time ago, they didn't have rocket ships, said Jade. I can share some stories I know about rocket ships, added Dave. Oh, I'd love to hear your story, said Ea. That's why I came to school.